Ten minutes after seven, Denny Moyer of the Sheboygan A's joins us this morning. Denny, good morning. Everybody's happy in, in A's land today, David. Yeah, season opening win. Guess uh, you can't win them all if you don't win the first one, and uh, you got it last night, 9-3 to three over Menasha. Good combination, good pitching, a uh, couple of big innings, and a win. Yeah, it was a nice ball game. I, I think defensively, too, I didn't get to look over the book yet, but I don't think we made an error. We played well uh, in all facets, all phases of the game. Kids played well. We uh, the thing that we really liked was in the fifth inning, we got two outs and two men on base, and then we went and scored six runs after that. So a lot of big hits with two outs, a couple of them with two strikes, and kept the innings alive, and it was it was a nice win for us. Nice crowd. Uh, rain held off. It was a nice night. It's amazing how those two out hits uh, seem to spark wins. When you can't can't get those hits, you don't win ball games, and when you can get them, uh, and they don't always come, but when you get them, uh, you can turn those into wins. It's a strange game, you know. The best team doesn't always win in this game. This one lucky thing can happen, but you're exactly right with that. When you when you get the hits when you need them, you know, a lot of times three for four doesn't win a ball game, but it's the one for five that wins if it's hit in the right place. And that's what we did last night. We had uh, just just a great Jeremy McCarty got a big hit at the end there, and, uh, and, and Dan Barwick got a walk, a key walk. Grant Evans got two hits, one drop and two runs with two outs, and it was a nice. Just a good effort, all around a good effort. Our pitching was good. Lucas Wilson had a great outing. Uh, two kids came in from the bullpen, Taylor Ditter and, uh, and Taylor Schwartz came in, and they both did a great job. Uh, when Asha doesn't score, if they don't hit out of the park, they had just two big hits, two home runs, and, and uh, they accounted for all three of their runs. But it was a good effort for our guys. Well, don't look now, but uh, this, the weekend means June is here, and it's a busy weekend of baseball. Doubleheader Saturday, doubleheader Sunday, all uh, all at home. Yeah, and Saturday's a big one. We've got uh, West Dallas here, and they're always very competitive in that Langsdorf League. They've uh, over the years, they've I think we played them a dozen times, and they won eight or nine of those things. So they've they've been giving us fits, but we're, I think we're ready for them. We got our pitching lined up for the weekend. We should be in good shape, and and Saturday's going to be a big day too. I don't know if you're aware of this day, but we got that Project Grill thing with uh, the high school kids working with industries. They're going to uh, show off their grills on. Uh, in the afternoon on Saturday, so we should have a nice group of people there, and it's uh, going to be a nice event. So if the weather holds, we should have a big day. All right, and uh, the uh, grill event takes place in the afternoon. The ball game starts at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, doubleheader. The grill thing starts. People can start coming at noon already to uh, to review the grills, and they've done some spectacular things. There. They, they, these kids, uh, with their imagination, and, and they're just all gung-ho about this. They do a nice job. So it's going to be a fun, fun day for us. That'll be an all afternoon. That starts at one. People can look at it at one, and they've got their their uh, program and awards ceremony and stuff starting at three, and then at five o'clock the game is on. All right. Well, have a great weekend. We'll talk baseball Monday uh, Monday morning. Thanks, Dave. All right, Denny Moyer, Sheboygan A's. He's with us uh, a day after every ball game here on the Breeze during the weekend. Again, they're in action Saturday with the doubleheader at five. Sunday afternoon, a one o'clock doubleheader at Wildwood Baseball Park.